Hi techies, in this video I'm gonna cover few more IACS interview questions and answers. In this video, I'm gonna share only the advanced interview questions and answers for experienced people. So these are real-time questions on IACS. So the first one is what is data assessment? And the second question explain discovery IQ. Third one is what is data masking? Fourth one is how does IACS handle large data volumes? Fifth one is in which scenario we have, you have used synchronization task? And sixth one is how can you schedule the mapping? And seventh one is if your workflow got failed in production environment, can we do the code change for that failed mapping in production environment or in the environment? Mention the step by step approach. And eighth one is have you parameterized in IACS? These are the questions I'm going to cover in this video. Please watch till the end if you don't know the answers. What is data masking? The data masking mechanism enables you to stop exposing sensitive data to non production environments. Using data masking rules, you can define the logic to mask or replace selected columns with duplicate values. I will tell one simple realistic example. In real time, suppose if we have some personal ident personally identifiable information, which means PII information like email address, phone number, bank account number, or government issued ID number, social security number, this type of PIA information if we have in our data and that real data we need to test in QA or in dev environment that time we cannot showcase that personal data of customer or user to the unauthorized people so we have to mask this type of data in lower environments that time we use this data masking technique to mask those type of information columns in lower environments the next one is explain discovery iq Discovery IQ is one of the module in IACS like data integration, application integration, and administrator or monitor. Likewise, there is another module, Discovery IQ, as shown in the diagram. And this Discovery IQ gives you a complete overview of the number of processes and jobs in your organization. Using this Discovery IQ, you can even get to know more about KPIs like data volumes, successful and failed jobs, etc. You can also perform log analysis by directly downloading from Discovery IQ. What is data assessment? The data assessment task in IACS streamlines the process to assess data quality. It also enables you to check things like file completeness, record duplication, field conformances, address validity, etc. You can configure filters on data to get the data that meets requirements. The next question is how does IACS handle large data volumes? IACS handles large data volumes using the techniques of partitioning, push down optimization, and high speed connectors. Partitioning is the mechanism IACS provides 
for dividing the data into smaller more manageable chunks or partitions and process each partition separately so the idea behind partitioning is if we have bulk load so we we are going to create partitions so that that data is going to segregate into different chunks and these partitions IAC is going to run parallelly so it is going to divide the data and separately parallelly it's gonna run that data by creating the separate pipelines and by using this partitioning we can increase the performance and we can load the data quickly the detailed description of uh, partitioning like types of partitioning and all i explained in the previous video i'm going to give that link in this video description just go through that and also i have covered push down optimization in that same video uh, so just go to that video and understand what is partitioning and push down optimization i'll give a smaller line for push down optimization basically this is the concept of executing the transformation logic in database level so for transformation logic iacs is going to create an sql statement to execute that either in source side database or target side database or you no know, both so how much logic transformation logic iacs can keep in sql statement that much it can it can write into sql and this sql statements are going to execute on database so that we can reduce the number of interactions between informatica and uh, you know database so that the performance is going to increase the efficiency also going to increase and the third one is high speed connector iacs offers high speed connectors for various data sources enabling faster data transfer the next question is in which scenario you have used synchronization task this is one of the important iacs interview real time question because if interviewer wants to know you are really worked on iacs in previous organization if you kept something like i worked on synchronization task in your resume then this type of questions he will shoot so you have to know the answer for this question normally most of the projects we use the synchronization task to load the data from source to stage tables if you know the answer if you really worked on synchronization task in previous projects then tell your answers uh, answer where you used in your project if you don't know then give this answers to answer to interviewer how can you schedule the mapping iacs provides scheduler also so by using informatica iacs scheduler you can schedule the mapping task
if your workflow got fail in fraud environment can we do the code change for that fail mapping in production environment or in dev environment mention the step by step approach basically this is the question interviewer asked when they are taking you for informatica support that time this type of questions he will shoot to know basic things you know or not so if workflow got failed in the prod environment first we have to check the reason for failure if suppose any code change is required then only we can i mean mitigate that failure then we have to do that change in dev environment and again we have to do unit testing and then deploy the code to test and then move to prod we should never develop or change the mapping in test or prod environment the next question is have you parameterized in iacs this is also a real time question if you worked on iacs if you parameterized in previous uh, previous projects then you tell your answer otherwise if you don't know then tell like yes i have used and i have created two types of parameters one is input parameters and another one is in out parameters this input parameters i have used to parameterize the source target lookup connections and this in out parameter i have used to create the mapping variables and mapping parameters basically this in out parameter i have used for incremental loading purpose tell answer like this 